I wanted to make a video about a dream I had about five or six years ago, 2018, yeah, about six years ago. Um, it was a dream that I really remembered because it was so very detailed and just what happened in it was really like traumatizing and it's something that you just can't forget. Um, but the thing is, it relates to something that happened in Israel on October 7th when I was watching a video of like some of the things that were happening there, you know, and I figured I would share it. So I have a lot of dreams that I can share. If I can remember a lot of them detail by detail, I have to go over them to make sure I get it right, you know, but I still have them. I've had them all my life since I was a kid. Um, and I also want to encourage people who have them and have visions while they're awake as well, you know, to not be afraid to come out is looking crazy you know that was my biggest fear and you know it's what it is people are gonna think whatever it's not our business to know what they're thinking right that's how i kind of got over all that um but yeah just come on out and tell your your dreams your stories the things you see the spiritual experiences that you have you know i pray for you i pray for you all every day you're a part of my prayers, everybody in this world, and especially the ones that are trying their hardest to come to God and find Him and just have a relationship with Him. And that's what it's really all about, a relationship, you know? But anyway, um, the dream I had about six years ago, and it's something that I remember because it was so traumatizing and something that you'll never forget once you hear what happened. And now that what happened in Israel on October 7th, after I watched a video of what happened to somebody that was very similar. So the dream goes, I just remember I was at a party with a bunch of people and we were all having a good time dancing, blah, 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 getting drunk, whatever. And then all of a sudden there was like a mood shift and the lights changed too. And everything just kind of just went dark and then like and the music stopped and like all there was was like this like low vibrating humming and like all of a sudden you heard something happening and then i seen like these gates rise up out of the ground and uh, I, I just remember everyone starting to run away and run away i'm just looking around like what's going on like the sky is changing colors like it's going red dark red and I don't know if that was partly like a rapture dream and like a revelation of what was to come, but I just remember seeing everybody running and everybody's running. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to start running too. And so I'm running and running and running these people. And I'm seeing people run past me and I'm running past people. And all of a sudden I start hearing gunshots. And I'm like, oh crap, I'm seeing people like alongside of me and my peripheral vision dropping. I, it's so wild. I remember this so vividly. And when I seen people dropping, I was just like, oh no. I heard a couple more shots and then I fell and I pretended to fall and die. And so I was laying there and I just put myself in a weird position. I remember every detail too. I put myself in a weird position and I just laid there with my mouth open. And I heard footsteps running past, running past, people screaming, gunshots. And then I hear a real close set of footsteps running past, past my head. And then I was laying there and I hear his footsteps stop. And then I was like, okay, what's going on? And all of a sudden I hear him back up. <laughs> and it just took a couple seconds. And I think he was examining me. I wasn't going to open my eyes. But all I remember is hearing, bang. And then I just feel it go boom right in my temple. I was like, and then I couldn't move. Everything was stuck. Like I was just, I felt like I was in there forever, but it was probably like five minutes maybe realistically, but I felt like forever because it was just pure blackness. And the blackness, like it wasn't like a black of a color. It was darkness. It was pure darkness and I was just in it. And that was a point in my life where I was living in sin real heavily with drugs and everything. But I'll get to that later. Um, 
But yeah, after I was shot, I felt the bullet go right in my head. And I was just stuck there in blackness and I couldn't move my body. It's weird because I could still kind of feel being present, but couldn't move anything. And I was just going, Ooh. like, and that's how I felt. Like, my facial reaction just... And it was just, like, so weird. And I just remember when I woke up, I was like, <gasps> like, whoa. It was so wild. And when I woke up, like, it was the weirdest thing, the feeling ever. That was, like, a big conviction that I had. One of many that brought me, because that was 2018, a year before that I really started, like, seeking God again, you know. But the weird thing is, after what happened on October 7th, I was watching a video of like live things that was happening, people getting shot. And there was one guy who did the same exact thing. He went behind a car and pretended he was dead. And a guy ran past him and he came back just to double check and then just shot him. And I was just like, what? Like, was that like a like a revelation being sent to me of like what was to come or what i mean it was just so wild because i remember there being desertness in my dream too like desert fields and dirt and i don't know exactly where it was obviously it's a dream i don't know every detail but i remember a lot a lot of very vivid details but yeah, that's just so wild like how many dreams i've had all my life that things have happened later on there's so many that i could tell but there's things that i really have to go over with a lot of them that dream that i had right there that i told i just know that very specifically because that was something i was never going to forget like feeling that way after getting shot in the head i mean that was just so uh, like i felt it and everything and i felt like i was stuck in death and i thought i was dead like i thought that was it that was it but yeah that's one of many dreams if you want more dreams stories or whatever you want me to try to remember them get some together and if you like this video like comment subscribe yeah definitely comment i want to hear your thoughts like in all your guys's dreams and your experiences as well because it's happening to so many there's so many people that are having dreams and visions Actually, like in Acts 2, Acts 2, 17 says, And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days in my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And it's, that's what's happening everywhere. I'm looking online and seeing so many prophetic dreams happening. And we, I know we're in the last days. We're in the last minutes. There's just so much proof of what's going on in this world, of what was said to be happening 2,000 years ago. So I have no doubt in my mind ever again. But yeah, if you want more stories like this and you want me to try to remember some of my old dreams to see if we can try to piece that together, I don't know. Or I definitely want to hear your guys. I mean, I love reading other people's dream stories and just seeing other people's thoughts of what it's about and how it may connect with something, you know. I like thinking like that. If that's what's kept me open-minded to find God, to come to Christ, you know. So I'm always going to think that way. I'm always going to be open-minded. Just don't be too open-minded to where your brains fall out, you know? Right? That's one quote I'm never going to forget. I mean, that makes sense. Like, be open-minded. You can't be closed off. Don't just be closed off to the religion that you were raised in. Or what you think someone told you is the right one just because you heard it. He sounded so right with it, you know? I urge everyone to really study every re religion, you know, every denomination, like try to see what the differences are and where the truth is and feel where the truth is, discern it. That's what you got to do. That's, you know, I trust my discernment and God's blessing that he gave me to see and feel. So 
I urge you all to try to tap into that. Ask God, pray to him to give you that. And the more you do it, the more it'll come. It didn't come to me overnight, you know. I mean, I, even though I've had dreams and visions all my life, I didn't know what they were. It took me a long time to understand what, like, really discerning it means. And I pray that you all can do the same thing. Um, yeah, if you want more videos like this or just want to watch any video that I come out with, it's going to be a bunch of different type of things, dreams, scripture, more scripture, God's word, exposing evil. I have music that I play. Um, I'm going to hopefully try to street preach soon because I really want to be doing that and going up to people one-on-one. -on -one. I bought this today. It's seven bucks. It's a wireless speaker and you can plug a microphone into it. And I figured, yeah. So yeah, if you want to see all this type of content, just like, subscribe, and definitely comment and share. Love you all. Bye.